Hey there, this is Malorian, and I decided I'm finally going to give you guys what you want. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to take to Brawler Bash. Now, for those who haven't heard me talking about this for like the last year, Brawler Bash is a very large tournament that they run in the States, in North Carolina. It's right by where one's bitten is. And uh, it's a pretty awesome tournament. I went there last year, did pretty well, and uh, I'm going back this year too. And I mean, I'm going to see the other YouTubers there. Of course, I'm going to see One's Bitten. I'm going to see Anthony. I'm going to see, you know, Nick from Long Island Wargaming. Who knows who else will be there as well. Simmer Gloom will be there, and uh, it's going to be lots of fun. Now, the first day is going to be a doubles tournament. Um, because I am working with Shimmer Gloom on that, I don't want to be giving up the list, so that won't be left out. Uh, but then there's the actual real tournament. Now, the tournament here is going to be 3,000 points for those who don't know. Uh, no Grand Armies, though. There's a few special characters that are banned, but not very many. And then as well, the most important thing is that it's scored based off your victory points. So whatever you kill, that's the points you get. So... It's really encouraging, really aggressive armies, and uh, kill, 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 go, go, go. At the same time, these are going to have uh, various objectives as well. So there's one where you're trying to keep your three cheapest units alive. There's one where it's blood and glory, stuff like that. Uh, plus, on top of it, there's these extra cards you can use that will give you extra abilities as well. The one that's always the biggest favorite from year to year is a one where a core unit gets a vanguard. And uh, let's just say vanguarding hordes of savages, it's pretty good. So looking at this here, I had to really wonder a long time what to take. And of course, you guys have been listening to my episodes. I was wondering, like, should I go with Orcs and Goblins? Should I go for something else? Because... Of course, on my part here, a big factor is travel, right? I have to take my things, pack them up, bring them over there. Uh, last year, one of my chariots from last year is still in pieces. It was smashed so badly while in the luggage, even though it was in foam and stuff. Uh, so for this one, I, I really want to think about travel. And at the same time, I, I also had a couple of big things to decide. One, they also go and they rate your, there's another prize for best in race. So one of the other options you can always go for is, well, what's one of the races that I'm really good at that other people probably won't be bringing lots of? And so there's some options there. Right? I thought, like, I could take my dwarves. I could might even do high elves, something like that. For a while, I was even wondering if wood elves could work. But now that the new wood elves are out, uh, I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to be seeing my fair share there. And at the same time, you know, in the doubles, I am, I am going to be doing orcs and goblins. So I'm going to bring that stuff anyway. So I'm, I probably want to be orcs and goblins. But I think the next big question I did really attack is how competitive do I want this to be? Um, you know, because here's the thing. Competitive is nice. Going there and kicking butt is pretty nice. But there's a couple of things that counteract that. On one part, I might not want to be ultra competitive just because I want to be there and having fun, right? Like maybe I just want to bring out the same boring army I always bring out and I want to try something different. I mean, when I first went through and made like what would be my Orcs and Goblins list for this year's Brawler Bash, if I was going to go and try and win by the, the same points as last year, well, it turned out to be exactly the same list as last year because it's the same scenarios, same objective, and uh, nothing's really changed. I mean, uh, last year I had double Doom Divers, double Rock Lobas to deal with the Doom Princes, and, and that's still the same thing that applies now. A year later, exactly the same list. And I, I didn't want to bring exactly the same list, since I, especially since I know other people will be bringing lists very similar to mine. So I wanted to take something that would be a little bit different. So from that point there, I, I first thought, all right, if I don't want to take something that's exactly like these orcs and goblins, let's go for best in race. I'm like, we're going to go for that, and we're going to go for best in race. And I looked at my dwarves, and I thought, oh, I can make a really good list, but I can't paint the hammers and the other things I need in time. So they put pushed aside. The big one I spent a lot of time looking at was the, the high elves. And, man, I mean, right now, my health, high elf army, for those who have seen it, is very unique, very aggressive. I run two phoenixes, I run two dragons, I run a griffin, and it's just running around monster circus, and rawr, I rip something up. And so when it jumped to 3,000 points, 
I was able to add in another fire, uh, like a flame phoenix, and then, man, the points were so close. Like, 3,000 points is a lot, but if it was just a little bit more, I was trying to get in, uh, you know, like the, the character on a phoenix, something like that, but the points just weren't there. But what I could do is take two, like, almost naked uh, dragon mages, and then I'd have three dragons, three phoenixes. That would be pretty cool. But at the same time, I even though I was pretty sure I could paint up another dragon, another, I mean, a phoenix I can paint in a day. That's easy. But uh, the other dragon, I could get this done. But at the end of the day, I thought, well, I could get this all done, but then I'm probably never going to be able to use these models again after. Uh, already, people just don't want to face against my high elves. You know, I already ruined one guy's hobby with it. Uh, I'm scared to take them out and ruin other people's hobbies because it really is a very hard army to deal with because, you know, what do you do? There's just flying monsters all over the place. And uh, eventually, I, when I'm done flying around and doing magic missiles and archers and stuff, I just charge into whatever I want and kill it. So um, I decided then past that, screw that. We are going to go back to orcs and goblins, but we are going to make a list that's going to be unique that's going to be Malorian, but at the same time, still competitive. And when I looked at it, I thought, okay, what do I got that probably no other player there is going to have? And I came to the idea of trolls, because I have my troll horde. Sure, other people have their troll hordes, but I have two troll hordes, and I also have like my river trolls, my stone troll, and I could do this with Throg. I also own Throg. But the big thing here is that from game to game, uh, first of all, there's there's always kind of like the whole thing we have to worry about blood and glory. There's the actual blood and glory. And for those who don't know, if all your points and all your core is in trolls, you have no banners, and you kind of lose blood and glory pretty bad. Plus, like I said, I want it to be the Malorian army, so I want to go with the orc version. So the first thing I did when making my list is... Troll Horde, Troll Horde. So this is <laughs> 1,260 points of plain old trolls. There's two whole big hordes of trolls, and that's where I started the list. Uh, past that, I was like, let's add a horde of river trolls. So I go and do that, but unfortunately, at 3,000 points, you can't quite do it. You can fit in 16, but not the full 18. And I was wondering if that was going to be enough to make me drop it, and I said, you know what? Screw it. We are going for the troll list. So already in our list here, we have three hordes of trolls. You know, the river troll one is only the 16 guys. But they're basically like trolls with the mark of Nurgle. So they're pretty awesome. So we're looking pretty nice here. But we've already used up a lot of points. <laughs> you know, at the pretty much from the, like the 3,000 points, we've already invested like, 2,000 points are allotted, and it's just on these three units of trolls. Now, the next big thing I have to do is I have to somehow get to 25% core. Now, luckily, the first chunk is pretty easy. I just take my Savage Org Biggins with, you know, the, the banner, boom. There's a good old lock in there, but of course, at 3,000 points, you need to have a little bit more. So what I got in there is I got three units of Night Goblins. I'm going to have a banner with each of them, and then there'll be one Fanatic in one and two Fanatics in the others. Now, what this is going to allow me to do is a couple of things. One, I'll have multiple bunkers. So if one bunker gets destroyed, I can always switch over to another one. Plus, if I'm up against an army that has a lot of chaff or a lot of things running around to get my bunker, well, come on at me. All these fanatics are going to go after you. I mean, just think of, like, even if a demon prince flies over to get me. If I hit a demon prince with five fanatics, he's going to regret coming after my bunkers. So that'll be very nice. Plus, depending on the army I'm up against, I can always have one bunker in the back if I feel safe enough with it. And then the other Night Goblin blocks can be up in the front, and then they can be sending off their fanatics and shooting out their bows, whatever redirectors they were going to use to slow down my trolls. So that brings me to 26% core. You know, like, 
I would go a little bit lower, but uh, there was pretty much no other place I really wanted to put these points, which really brings us to our heroes. Now, I need to have the BSB, so we got our, our Night Goblin BSB in there, and because in this army is, like I said, majority trolls, which are very dependent on leadership, we have to give that uh, BSB the leadership banner, because this army is going to revolve around this. Then I was left trying to do my general. And with the general, it was kind of weird. Because, I mean, I've already used up a lot of points. And I'm at the point here where, I mean, I could cut a little bit from my core. But I'm looking at something that has to be, like, around 175 points or less. And it's like, well, you know, a level 4 wouldn't really work in there too well. Um, I, I do want to have something that has better leadership as well. And so I thought about it, and what I decided to do in the end is, you know what, let's continue the stupid, and we're going to go for a goblin uh, war boss who's going to have the wizarding hat and a shield. So I'm going to have four units with stupidity, but I'm going to have a leadership 9 re-rolled, so I should be okay. And uh, guys, that's my list. So really, it is three hordes of trolls, then another horde of my Savage Orc Biggins. I got my three blocks of basically, you know, my Night Goblin bunkers or Chaff Breakers, whatever I want to use them as, and then my two characters. Now, if you didn't really listen to that, um, I don't have any war machines or anything like this. So the whole idea of killing things at range won't really be an option. And I'm sure at some point that's going to really burn me, right? But my hope is that, like I said in this tournament here, it is all about getting victory points. And so even though in a game it might be better off if I can snipe off this monster and get this, really the, the objective of this armor army is saying, hey, I got a bajillion trolls and a bajillion strength five attacks, deal with it. And let's say there is the the Demon Prince, or something else that gets at one of my hordes and locks it down, I'm still going to have three other hordes. So I think I should be able to be okay with this, but hey, you know what? It's, it's, I believe it's a six-game uh, tournament. Over some point, it's going to burn me, but hey, it's, it's going to be Malorian, and it's going to be crazy. Now, of course, another thing you got to really think about this is your deployment. And uh, when you got three units that are leadership four with stupidity, that means you have to keep them around. So really, I'm going to have my three hordes of trolls, and then behind the middle one will be at least the one bunker that has my general and stuff. Now, what that means is that the Savage Orc Biggins, they're a flank. I mean, normally the Savage Orc Biggins, they are your center unit. They're going to rush up, and they're going to rip up face. But uh, you know what? I have to say, uh, leadership be damned for them. You guys are off on a side unit, and they're just going to kind of sweep around and do their thing. And, I mean, normally that they don't do well on a flank because chaff goes over to them and redirects. But I'm, I'm pretty sure my opponent will be so worried about the 2,000 points of trolls rushing at 12 inches every turn but they're probably going to be focusing on this, and that the, the savages, which are slower and often a flank, they're just going to kind of like meander and do their thing, which will probably come in as like a cleanup wave after as well. Uh, another thing I could always do as well is that if I, if I feel that the combat or the way that I'm up against with the, my matches, that one of my hordes is going to fail. Let's say I'm going up another against another troll horde, or if I'm up against like the big huge gut star or something like that, I can layer my units. My savages don't have to be on the side. They can always be a second wave or, or something like that. So, you know, I, I do have that option as well. But, uh, yeah, it is a crazy list. Um, I know there's been people asking for it for a while. But, honestly, it was just in the last week here that I finally went and put it together. And uh, <laughs> we'll have to see how it does. So, uh, please, down below, if you wish, you can go and... You know, make your guess of, you know, out of six games, how many games you think I'm going to win. Um, I'm going to be playing against Once Bitten and probably his empire. So we'll see if, you know, what do you think I'll do against uh, a Once Bitten empire-led army? You know, what is he going to do against all these trolls? I mean, 
Like, clearly, the steam tank is going to go into one of these trolls. I'm just going to go bleh and just puke all over that steam tank, and it's going to be fun. So, uh, anyway, there you go. There's my list. Uh, if you think I'm crazy, go ahead and let me know. But otherwise, thanks for watching. And uh, Brawler Bash is just in a couple of weeks, so look forward to a ton of battle reports. So, I'll see you then. Bye. Masters and his orchestra present Scatterbrains.